Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I am gonna show you guys how to enable performance plans that might, number one, should be available in the power options, as well as an additional plan that might not be available for you, but it's definitely something you should consider checking out. So generally speaking, there's different power plans at different settings, depending on if you're plugged in or on battery power in which allows you to better utilize the specs on your computer and you know better utilize the power consumption to performance trade-off so there's definitely considerations to be made when choosing a power plan and this tutorial will also feature an ultimate performance power plan that we really don't see very much and it's actually a pretty new thing from Microsoft and this actually does provide an extra boost for higher power computers that some of us may have, but I'm just going to show you guys how to enable it. Obviously, proceed at your own risk, but there's definitely trade-offs and benefits to all of the plans. And we're going to go ahead and just jump straight into it. So we're going to start by opening up the star menu. And type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right-click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and select yes. And now I'm going to have all the main uh, power plants in the description of the video for the commands you can paste in here if you're missing any one in particular. Now you can create your own custom plans, which I've made a tutorial of fairly recently about that. So you can check that one out. Or you can go ahead and just, like I said, do one of the default recommended ones I'm going to have in the description of the video. So if you're missing high performance, you just want to copy that and paste it into the command prompt here. I'm actually going to copy the ultimate performance one just to go give it a try here. And then I'm going to paste it into the top bar of the command prompt here by right clicking on it, selecting edit, and then pasting it in. And it should show up that it has run here. It should be a little blinking cursor. I'm going to go minimize out of there. And I believe if we do open up power options, so we might have to go through power and sleep settings here. You can go through the control panel. This is just going to make us work a little bit more, but under related settings, we're going to do additional power settings. And now if we expand the show additional plans, there is an ultimate performance now. It provides ultimate performance on higher end PCs. Now I said proceed with caution on this. However, you know what? It's worth a shot. I mean, I would try it. So you know, go ahead and select that and then you just close out of here, restart your computer and then see if you have a little bit more of a performance boost. If you do that option, I would probably recommend you do it on a desktop. Just keep in mind there will be a greater power consumption no matter if you do it on a desktop or a laptop. And if you're doing it on a laptop, you probably want to keep it plugged into the wall because it's going to be using a lot of power. Um, if your computer starts getting really hot, you probably want to just shut it off and change it back to the balanced or high performance option. But I mean, if you have decent hardware specs, I would maybe give it a try, just see how it goes. Do a trial run, test run of it, see how your system handles it basically. So pretty straightforward tutorial guys. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.